Welcome to day 10 of 30 days of Photoshop. Today we're showing you one of my favorite features, Adobe Camera Raw built into Photoshop. Hello and welcome back to 30 days of Photoshop. My name is Aaron Nace and I'm so excited about Adobe Camera Raw in Photoshop. Basically, if you've ever used a Lightroom or raw processing software, all of these tools are built into Photoshop and they're incredibly powerful. It's one of my favorite ways to edit images in Photoshop. So today we're going to show you some of my favorite features, how to use smart objects so you can go back and make changes at any time and the best workflow for Adobe Camera Raw in Photoshop. So here we are with our beautiful sample image. Now I like this a lot, but I want to make my background a little bit more out of focus to help my subject stand out. I also want to make our sky more blue and I want to do some interesting color grading. All this is going to be perfect in Adobe Camera Raw. First thing we want to do, make sure you're clicked here on your background layer. We want to convert this into a smart object. That way we can make changes at any point in time. So we're going to go here to filter and then down here to convert for smart filters. Perfect. Now we have a smart object and we're ready for our Adobe Camera Raw filter. So we're going to go here to our filter dialog and down to Camera Raw filter. Fantastic. Now let's go ahead and make this big and I'm going to hit Control or Command Plus to zoom in a couple times. So you can hold the space bar and click and drag to move your image around. Now on the right hand side, the first thing I want to do is go to where it says Lens Blur. This is one of my favorite features in Camera Raw. All we have to do is click on apply right here. It's going to automatically detect your subject and blur the background. Look at that. Amazing. Now we're going to go right down here to this icon, which I like to click and drag right over your subject's face. It's going to help refine the selection just a little bit better. Now here you have your blur amount and I can choose less or more blur for that background. And when we have beautiful effects, you can even go through and choose different types of bokeh if you want a different look on your background. This is a very powerful tool. I really like it. I think it's best done a little bit on the subtle side, but you can see it really looks great. Let's just turn that off and back on. We're looking really good. The next thing I want to do is select my sky and make the sky a little bit more blue. And that's incredibly easy to do here in Adobe Camera Raw as well. So let's go ahead and close up our lens blur. I'm going to hold space bar and click and drag up to my sky. Next, we're going to go here to our masking tools. Let's click there and we're going to go to the brand new landscape masking. And here you can see I can choose my sky, my mountains or the ground. Let's go ahead and choose our sky. We're going to click on create. And then here, what I'd like to do, let's hit command minus to zoom out of our image a little bit. We're just going to go ahead and take our highlights and drag those down a little bit. It's going to make the sky a little bit darker, but then I'm going to go to my color temperature and I'm just going to simply make this more blue and look how easy that was to do this. So with this sky mask, I'm going to just put controller command minus to zoom out so you can see the full image. Let's just go here and turn this off and back on. There's the before and the after with our blue sky. How amazing is that? Now, the next thing I want to do is add just a little bit of a bright spot over top of my subject. It's going to help her stand out from the background. So we're going to go here to create new mask. Let's go ahead and click there and we're going to go to where it says a radial gradient. And we're going to click and drag from the center out just like this. And then we're going to take our exposure slider and simply bring up our exposure. And you're going to see it's just going to bring a little bit more attention to our subject. I love this. Such a simple way to edit your photos. Just make sure at the very top of this where you see your radial gradient, make sure you always adjust your feathering. You want to make sure you have the right amount of feathering so it perfectly blends in to your image. Now, I'm going to go back to my sky and say, you know what, maybe I made that a little too blue. No worries. Just go ahead and click right here on your sky. Scroll down and you can change these settings at any point in time. There we go. That looks so, so good. Now, the next thing I want to do is a little bit of color grading. So we're going to go ahead and move out of our masking back to our regular editing. And here in color grading, let's go ahead and open this up. I can now add colors into my midtones, my shadows and my highlights. I'm going to take my shadows. We're going to click here and drag them a little bit cooler. There we go. And we're going to take our midtones and we're going to drag these up and make those a little bit warmer. Fantastic, just for a little bit of a beautiful color grade. Let's go ahead and turn this off and on so you can see there before and after with our image. And we're just going to hit Control or Command Plus a couple times, and you can see our image looks fantastic. So, going right down here, we have a before and after tool, which you can toggle the default settings. You can also use the slash key on your keyboard. Here's the before and after with all the adjustments we made within Adobe Camera Raw. 
There you go, you can see it full screen. Now all we have to do is hit OK right over here and then it goes back into Photoshop and you can see all of our changes are visible here in Photoshop. Now because we created a smart object first, check this out, I now have smart filters and look at this, I can turn this off and on at any point in time and I can double click right here in my camera raw filter and I'm back into Adobe Camera Raw. For instance, I could go to my masks and I have all of my masking in place. I can change these settings at any point in time so this is completely non-destructive. Let's go ahead and hit cancel and then from here you could do any additional edits you wanted to your images in Photoshop, but Adobe Camera Raw is a perfect place to start with editing your images and especially for that lens blur or the background, mm, it's kind of the best tool, I love it. So my suggestion is if you find Photoshop a little bit overwhelming and you have any experience with Lightroom or raw editing software, Adobe Camera Raw is an amazing place to start when editing your images in Photoshop. Just be sure to make them a smart object first so you can change the settings at any point in time. And don't forget you can download this sample image and PSD totally free. Just click on the link right down below. Join us tomorrow where we show you how to remove distractions with a click of a button in Photoshop. Thanks again. I'll see you later. Bye everyone. Thank you.